Hey guys, Dad Sparrow here, and welcome to University, University, Universe Sim. Um, I've actually forgot all about this game. This game has been, I've seen a couple of pictures of it um, quite a while back, and I says all oh, to myself that was pretty looks pretty cool. Um, so here we are. We have the pre-alpha. Now for a pre-alpha, there is sort of quite a lot to do in this here. So there's about 20 minutes worth of gameplay. Um, more than that there, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get stuck into this here. I'm going to show you what what they have the off what we have the offer, and talk a bit about this. Now, pretty much this is a civil civilization builder, but it's like ban banished. If you've watched me play banished, you will know that I'm really terrible at building civilizations and stuff. Um, it reminds me a wee bit also of black and white for those guys who used to play black and white. Obviously, if there's people young ones playing this here, they'll not know what black and white is. But anyway. Enough this here. We're gonna get Pretty much, we have to set down a town hall, and we've only the only thing, the only error we can unlock on this here pre-alpha so far is uh, the prehistoric area, with, with, like the cavemans and stuff. Uh, so this is the area we're gonna go for. But we're gonna have a look. We're gonna zoom out. We're gonna spin around the world to see where we can put it. We need obviously water, trees, rocks, and we also have the mountains of Mordor here. Look at all that. Do want to put? Do want to put any in here? Because obviously I'd be no good. We'll have goblins and stuff coming out and attacking us and telling us to clear off. So we don't want to go in the mountains of Mordor. There's some more mountains. Um, we want somewhere really good where there's like food and trees and a bit of rock. We could just plant it here. There's a couple of rocks nearby. There's a couple of trees. There's quite a bit of animals about as well. A couple of bit of bushes and there's water. So what we'll do is we'll just go, we'll just smack it right here. Yes, we'll currently. See, oh no, no. Why? There we go. Yes, there we go. And here we have our little town centre. And as you see, we've got a family of four. We've got two adults and we've got two kids. As you can see in the top left-hand corner here, this is our Nuggets list. These guys are called Nuggets. Could have, what a perfect name. We're called Nuggets. We've got two adults. And they're pretty much. They go on about and do their own thing. They build things by themselves um, if left alone enough. This here, the tab, is obviously is, these are it's the epicenter priorities. Pretty much, it's not called a town center; it's called an epicenter. And we have two workers and uh, two available workers. Now we can assign them obviously to different things here. We have builder, food, wood, and miners. So what we're going to do at the moment, we are going to equip them both to wood and uh, mine, and they'll get stone. And we'll hit apply. Um, so these guys, the two adults, which is these two guys here, will go and chop down trees and go get stone and bring it back to the epicenter here. Now, like I said, these guys will go and build. You'll see random houses popping up and down. As you can see, we've got a thunderstorm at the moment. But there's the rain started. Um, so obviously these two guys, obviously these are well, these are two married people. You'll find sometimes they'll go in here and start a bit of love it, which obviously will bring more people to the settlement and more um, kids and stuff. That's how you get your population. You can leave them. Like I said, this is only like 20 minutes worth of gameplay. Um, I actually managed to turn it into like an hour and a half worth of gameplay because I just constantly let them build houses and put farms and all. I end up with something like 60 people in my, in my, my town, which is good considering we don't have that much to build. And that must do really with the uh, obviously being pre alpha alpha. So I say you can get quite a lot of hours out of this if you just sit down and don't mind looking at the same thing. Elu loves babies, I want one of those. Well there you go. Um I'm assuming this is the red haired girl here, so there you go, uh Adafi. Go and uh, make some babies with your wife, because clearly she's calling it. She wants some babies. And she's already got two, but sure what what's another one help? Or hurt, should I say? Um, top right hand corner, we have the research screen. Now, if you click on this here, it brings up the research menu. Now, over here, we have like a left side, it's all to do with farming and stuff and um, storage. Oh, they became adults, so we can use them to get food and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying, these are like all the research things and animal stuff. Uh, this is all about speech and tools and stuff like this here. And this is generally technology as well up here. Um, you can name your awareness, which helps you name settlements and stuff, fire, cooking. Now, some of these do not do, well, the majority of these don't do anything because, uh, 
obviously the, with the, the limited stuff that's in it but what we're going to do is we're going to start stockpiling we're going to research it and we're going to jump to storage and queue that and we'll enqueue um, agriculture as well to unlock some farms to get us some food so we'll get out of that we'll go over to our tab and we'll put these guys in one each and as you can see a building's automatically put, popped up and what this will be is more likely a stone hut and this continues to happen until you give them things to build so pretty much if you go over to here these are the things that you obviously the list resources we can only build either a farm which is unlocked or it's just locked at the moment until we get agriculture or we can build a warehouse which is also unlocked until we uh, research storage another thing we have is these are nuggets we can an eatery we can build an eatery and we can build um, a constructor's hut now we're going to build a constructor's hut we're going to put it right here so these two buildings will obviously get built once they have enough uh, materials and stuff yeah, I missed what that said actually when it came up stockpiling is research it's okay that's happy days That's the wrong button, sorry. So there we go. Obviously, so we've got. Oh! Apparently, someone made some sweet love because we've got another kid somewhere that's popped out of some, no, somewhere. So, obviously, we've had a kid. She's three. Number of kids. Number of kids. So, they've obviously made love while we've been talking. So. Sorry about that guys, um, as you've seen in the bottom left there, Nato is feeling frisky so if that's a he or is that her, it must be he so, oh, yep there we go, these guys are gonna, yep there we go, they're they're making sweet love in their hut so we'll just leave them and what to say, this is how pretty much it works, they just go in here, random huts, make love and kids pop out everywhere, which is pretty hectic after a while. So let's see, pretty much this is all it is. Obviously this is the happiness, it tells you how happy your settlers are. Um, so they're pretty happy at the moment. As you can see from this, this here, we've got four adults and one. Oh, we've got five adults now. So we can actually assign another person. We'll assign another builder. We'll get that on to go. And um, we've got another child. Obviously these guys making love, we've got another child. So there we go. Um, the wind is blowing. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but it's sort of blowing this sort of direction. And let's see, this is pretty green. Alright, here, I don't know if I, I guess it's like, is it how fertile it is? I'm not entirely sure what the green one is. I sort of done the tutorial for a bit and then sort of like went, screw it. I <laughs> just went, yeah, we'll just do that. Um, so I don't know what the green one quite means, but um, I think it's fertile, I'm not entirely sure. And we can take it back. Oh, we've got a lot of fog clouding up. There's a big... Oh! Look how cool that is. The rain's hitting the, the screen. If we go into God mode, you can see the specks of... Well, I think it's just when you hit here. Oh no, it's away now. You can see the rain trickling down the screen, which is pretty cool as well. Um, we have... Oh, there it is. There's the rain. Oh, clouds coming in. So we'll have to see what's happening. So the weather's not the best. It's 16 degrees though, and it's in autumn, which is pretty. What's well, pretty mild autumn, to be fair. It's usually about minus 16 degrees over here when it's autumn time. It's actually warmer in the winter than it is in the autumn over here, which is really weird. But anyway, as you can see, these houses are good. That is, I'm assuming that's our war hut or no, our constructor's hut. Is getting built. Or is a stone? Oh, stone hut has been complete. And like I said, the builders just constantly build them, obviously because then more people will be able to move into them and whatnot. We'll go to your research with research and agriculture, which unlocks the farm. Um, foraging. What's that? 
Good firing speed, minus 10. Food gathering yields 10% more food. Irrigation. Uh, we'll enqueue that one. So we'll, uh, no, we'll actually start going up this direction. We'll go for awareness and queue that and then fire. We'll queue those. We can queue up, we can queue up the five, but there's no point in rush, rushing it because, like I said, for only 20 minutes worth of gameplay, you can get. I'll say I had an hour, like was it 45 minutes or something, or nearly two, nearly two hours, and I just constantly, like, I had a wee area like this and I expanded all the way out. I had like four farms. It was massive and houses just kept popping up and popping up, which is pretty cool. Um, it's funny though when they die, when they die they just seem to lie out in the ground and they don't disappear or despawn off your screen so you're stuck. There's one stage that you had like littered quite a lot of dead bodies in one area and it was pretty, um, well it wouldn't be nice to live in that kind of area. Um, let's see, get another gallery out there, why not get some food in. We've got 90 point two yet of the food and we're losing 0.12 which is not that much so it's pretty good our food situation is good um, as you can see another house is being built and someone's over there <laughs> as you have to laugh it's like, they literally breed like rabbits like you go away and you come back and you have an actual seven kids it's crazy especially when there's loads of them get put into it um, as our, our constructor so we can add someone to that can't we or we have no one to add to it as of yet. We'll add someone to that once one a person becomes available. This is so much better with two people. That's kind of gross. But um, we'll just leave it. It doesn't, it's just why there's no name. Shamo was born. So we've got Shamo as a kid. Um, he's off on his adventures already. Where is he anyway, actually? Where is the wee kid? Oh, there he's there. He's off. Wandering. Wandering the the plains of this here lovely world or mother planet as it's called. You can rename your planet and you can rename um you can actually rename quite a lot of things. You can rename your planet, you can rename your uh, epicenter, and you can actually rename all your nuggets. Um I suppose it's good you could, if you want to do that you really could, but I think that would be pretty hassle. Though. If you want to name all of them, you can name one person. Say you could have like, I can name this ginger dude. Um, that is Barrel. Even though I'm not ginger, it'd be pretty cool. And as you can see, there we go. Another stone hut has been built, and there's another one just popped up right away. So we're going to have to start building um, some other things. Can I add someone to this yet? No, I can't. Right, because right, we need to build some other stuff. So what else have we got? Can we build? We can build a warehouse. We'll build our lovely warehouse over by the beach here. Oh, come on, turn right, there we go. We'll build the warehouse there, so hopefully they'll get building that once this stone hut's complete. And the, there is no sort of like pattern to where they build them, they build them random places. So the, the tenants are like fan out all over the place for their houses and stuff. So there is no, um, there is no like order or anything. But what I tend to do is I tend to like build farms like I always been about build about three farms out here and just max them out with fields and stuff. There we go. There's another stone stone hut complete. So we've got one, two, th three, three stone huts, an epicenter, a construction uh, headquarters, and we're currently going to be building. Uh, what do you call that? What I put it down? Warehouse. And then we we'll say we'll probably have our farms somewhere over here. Um, out of the way, we've got 156.9 food and we're losing 0.44 which is still nothing compared to the amount of food we have. The thing that does annoy me is in this, about this game, and obviously probably fix it when they're um, since it's only pre and they'll probably fix it, is that there's no priority lists. Now, I put that I put that down before this, ho this house came up and they still are building this one before they build the the warehouse. Because ideally you want them to build that and then go on to building houses and stuff. That there is, they could probably fix that a wee bit. But I'm not complaining, that's it's just a minor detail. Um, I am loving this game so far, even though, as like I said, it's, even though it's only a pre-alpha, it's still, I have enjoyed it. I, like I said, I can, for what it's, what, for what there is, it's pretty good. And I cannot wait till this here actually becomes a proper game. 
Alright, we'll we'll stick him in. He's gonna be in repair and stuff. We've got a we've got a repair now. Um, we've got another kid. We're just literally breed, breeding like rabbits here. Um, so this one's gonna get built now. So it is, as you can see, this if she's gonna start. If I can click on it, I can't seem to click on her. Uh, no, she's only a child, so she's not gonna be doing anything. She's this one's not finished. Is it? This house is literally next door to that one, which is unusual. So there we go. Like, I'm hoping to go over and build this. These two are next door to each other. So, guys, please go over and build the. Oh, look, see, there's nothing just popped up. So, they're going to build this instead of building this. See what I mean? That's, that's one thing that's pretty annoying is that they're taking priority over building houses than they are building stuff that you've already plopped down. Um, maybe that's because there's they need houses for people. Or is he going to start? Oh, no, he's going to start building. He's putting all the stuff over, so that's okay. So maybe they'll be next on the road. Once they build this house, this will be probably next. He's just going to get the collection of wood and stuff to put over there. But like I said, I am enjoying Like I said, before, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. This is really, really good. Um, that went up no time. It's right beside each other, too. Um, I've played. Can't get enough of this. If you would like me to play more as it updates, by all means, let me know in the comments below and hit a like button. Hit the like button. It's greatly appreciated. Um, I don't know when how often the updates are up, will come out, but if you if I get enough likes and people comment and saying they'd like to see more of this here, or like to see um, me continue playing this as the updates come out, I will. Because um, like I said, I am thoroughly I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Then um, the developers have done a pretty good job so far, and I'm looking forward to the completed project. I think it'll be really, really good. I love games like these, so do. Likes of Banish and stuff, and any city building games or like pretty much any city building games or any games like this here. Um, I love it. I, I just can't get enough. It's constantly playing them for hours and hours, and then obviously. Um, you do get bored of them, but you always come back and you think it's something comes released, new game, you're back in them and you play them for hours and hours again. Um, City Skylines is another one that's pretty good too. But we have we haven't locked the farms, have we? Am I just blowing on me? I don't know what be this one the recent gallery. Oh, we have. We can lock a farm. Now we're gonna put the farm. We're gonna put a farm there, and we're also gonna put another one. I'm going to put another farm We're on the outskirts. I'm assuming the green means the... the I'm going to put it here. So no. Do you know what? We'll start with one farm. We'll start with one farm. We'll get this built and we'll see what happens. Because we can all expand the farm. You start off with one field and you can always expand. So it's always good. They're actually building the warehouse now, which is good. Um, how many? We've got eight people. Do, oh, we've got an extra person. Uh, as you can see our food's now 1.10 so we can do that there. We're gonna get a lot of uh, we're gonna get our wood cutter because wood's always one of those things you need and as you can see the population of the planet is 126. Now when I first seen that there I was confused I was like I don't have 126 people here. What it is is actually the animals that we spit out. I thought well hold on a second We'll go and have a look and see if there's another village. Another village has popped up and they're breeding like crazy. But I kind of worked out that it's actually the animals and stuff that's actually populated as well. Um, there should be a herd of mammoths and stuff. That actually, yep, there we go. There's some mammoths there. Oh no, that's their bears actually. You can't actually get mammoths in this. There's somewhere. There's the the mountains of Mordor. There's whales. There's fish as well. So that's where that's where that our number comes from too. It actually includes all the all the there's a mammoth there. If you zoom in. There we go, there's a mammoth there. It includes all the wildlife on the planet, not just your civilization. And it reminds me this here reminds me a wee bit like spore. So it does with the whole like world sort of thing and tribe building and stuff. Reminds me that we that sort of aspect of spore. But like I said, it's the, 
it's, it's so good. Like I, it is fiery. I was amazed. The link will be in the description. There's another hut down there. Let me. The link to the page will or to their website will be in the description below, guys. You can go and check it out. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's just a donate. Um, obviously, to donate to get the game. Um, there's different levels of donate, donation you can get, and obviously the higher the higher you donate, the the better the package you get, and all and all. And all. Um, I just went for the pre-release um, package that has the pre-release, then the alpha, then the beta, and then the full game. It's something like for thirty dollars or something. It was I don't know something along the lines of that anyway. So. I think that's the only way you can get it at the moment is through donations. Um, I'm not entirely sure what way it's going to work. Maybe obviously when the game's released, you'll be able to buy it in Steam and stuff. But if you want to check it out then or now, have a look for yourself. I say the link will be in the description. Just check it out. Um, if you want to donate, obviously I'm sure they'll be more than happy for you to donate stuff to them. Um, Sorry, I just lost train of thought there. I'm more happy to donate. Um, obviously, the more people that actually donate and stuff and get the stuff, um, the game, will, the more work goes into the game. They've actually had a couple, quite a lot of people. Um, there's quite a lot of people that's donated. Um, I was quite a, there's a list of people that all all the people have donated. There's quite a lot of pe people are looking forward to this game, and I can see why because, like I said, for 20 minutes gameplay, it's, I'm probably well over 20 minutes now talking, and I, also, I just love this effect. Where the water and all on the screen it makes it so real realistic as it it's all my, my god goggles they're all misty and stuff so it's pretty cool and as you can see they're still building like crazy they're building houses all over the place and not building the farm we actually need to research some things because we've researched everything if I'm, if I'm, oh no we haven't we're researching awareness and it's gonna pretty fast what's this planet name we can name the planet we'll name the planet as well and what's this God name, we'll name ourselves. Allows God to be renew renamed. Yeah, why not? Do we even have a name? Where is our name? Do we know I don't know if we have a name or not. What's this? Obviously this hasn't been added. Awareness is research, which is pretty good. Um three hundred and eight point seven nine food. We're that we're well and we're we're minus one point six six. That's obviously the food that's get being took out by the the nuggets so to speak so we've got more enough food we're just going to keep going um, I'm expecting the death pretty soon actually as well guys because it'll come up they, they don't last that long um, obviously they don't there is this is the this is the, the stone or the prehistoric caveman age I know there's a name for it and I, I know the name for it I'm just not going to pronounce it because I know uh, <laughs> I can't pronounce it um, well, I can't. Like, it just it just comes out wrong when I say it. So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna call him Cave Manage. So you guys who watch dinosaur or love dinosaurs and stuff always know. You all know what it is. I know what it is too. I'm just not. If I, it'll be an epic fail if I try to pronounce it. So I'm not gonna bother. Fires research. So they'll have torches. It is quarter past two. Oh, there we go. I thought being ill would be fun. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, because you have to work. Oh, we've actually got an extra person. And um, we'll put the other guy on wood as well. Just to get some wood in there. I would love them to actually start building the farm. It would help if they would build the farm. Oh, happy birthday. Elu is... I don't know which one's Elu. God, there's so many. And they're all pretty much naked. I need to research clothes, actually. Help you. One of these has clothes on it. Uh, right. No, it's... This one, I need this one, and then this one, and then clothing. Once they research this, they all come out in like we caveman striped leotards and stuff. It's pretty cool. We've got nine people. Number of nuggets we've got nine all together, which is not much considering the amount of houses there is. And as you can see, they're building a house again, and not building this. Oh, Adafi has died. Rest in peace. Died from old age. Now, Adafi is the one of the very first ones. In fact, is the first one. And he'll probably be lying about somewhere. Or else standing. Is this him here? Nope, that's Shamu. Sometimes to lie down, sometimes to stand up. It's pretty weird the way it works out. Oh, Elu has died as well. So that's the, the two starter ones have died. 
There's Elu. Elu is there, as you can see, she's standing up. She's just free. <laughs> Dead. Rest in peace. Age four, that's actually pretty young. It's pretty young. Um, I can't find Adafi. Adafi's somewhere. He's probably standing up somewhere too that I'm just missing. But yeah, they sort of like just stand there. So oh no, hold on a sec. Now she's she's actually falling to the ground slowly. Someone else died there as well. Kato has died. Or Kato. So there's three people have died in the space of five minutes, and these guys are just making love. There's uh, that must be Anafi there. No, it's Kako. What's he doing? He's just standing there. I need to get someone in there to work. So do, but I can't because of no people. So we've still got we've got six people, which is not good. Like, um, well, we've got one child as well. So we still need to still need to start. We'll start have to start breeding. There's a child there. So there's a uh, Elu is just face planting the dirt, kissing the ground. Um, I don't know if she despawns. I have never seen them despawn. They just sort of like sit there, which is pretty bad, like, because as I said, it's pretty smelly. All the dead bodies just get piled up. Um, what's this? So she's repairing. I don't know what she's repairing. Mother planet. I love to know how we rename planet gas level. Our water's pretty good. Our wind. Energy available. We've got a ton of food. Loads of food, so I haven't really worry about food. Clothes that we're getting clothes, I think next. Oh, construction stone hut. Please go and build the farm. Go and build the farm, please. The farm needs build. I'm going to just take these off. Someone's died. Nato has died as well. People are dying left, right, and center. I don't have anybody available, sure don't know. Community's researched. Anyone want to try, try and build this farm for me, guys, instead of building houses? Because I know you've got a really nice big community down here. It's sort of like span it out right 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 here. I like got a thing over here needs to be built, please. What are we researching clothes? What's this? Pelts. Disease resistance plus 50 in the winter. Body paint. Nuggets will now wear body paint and dye their hair. Uh, we'll include this here. We'll do all this here to see what they look like. Communal baths. Unlocks communal baths. Well, obviously we don't have that. Nuggets who enter this. Only received plus ten happiness. We don't have we don't have communal baths. We only have a few things that we can build. But hopefully in the next patch they'll add another couple of things. Love babies. I want one of those. Okay, Zemo is looking to make love to someone so, somewhere. But anyway, guys, this is gonna be the end of this year episode. Um, like I said, this is just a gist of it. As you can see, they just sort of like spread out and build houses all over the place. They and neglect be <laughs> putting the farm down. Um, like I said, if you'd like to see more, by all means let me know in the, in the description or the comments, sorry, below. Um, like I said, if I get enough likes or if you all hit like it, what you see, smash the like button and I will do videos as the updates are released just to see what's been added and stuff. If you don't want me to do more, fair enough, that's okay. That's, um, that's fine with me. But I, what I will know is that I'll probably play this offline as well anyway because I, I can't get enough food. We've actually got someone, can we actually get someone in here now? Yeah, there we go. Someone's in the warehouse now, working. Um, I can't get enough of this game, it's absolutely amazing, it's so good. Um, for a pre-alpha, like I said, and I'm looking forward to alpha, beta, and even the full game. I think it's going to be a brilliant game when it's released as well. So there's quite a few good hitters this week, this, this year, so far, um, as far as... Uh, games and or hit come they've got this one I've got Miso again they're the two so far they're two ones that are standing out at me this year so it's gonna be all good for that you're just gonna have a great time 
uh, watch me fail at building stuff. But like I said, have a nice day, whatever you're doing. Please leave a like, share, subscribe. Any of those are, especially the like button, guys. It makes I greatly appreciate it, and it makes me know what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Um, but until then, until the next time, have a lovely day or a lovely night, whatever you are or wherever you are in the world. And bye for now.